Hello, this is Vincent Raduga, and this is the show where intelligent people like you come find the tools to change the rules. So welcome back to the show. Today we're going to be having an interesting show, which is going to be a mix of a number of things. Uh, our guest today is going to be Warren Whitlock, the um, uh, social media expert, and I'm thinking that you're going to really be um, learning quite a lot of information from him. We're going to be having James Shramko with his advanced uh, business strategies, and I have a number of different tools and a number of different apps that you're going to really enjoy. So let's get started with the first section of the show, which is going to be Handy Bookmarks. Welcome back to Handy Bookmarks. Today I have a number of very, very interesting um, websites that I want to show to you, but instead of me telling you about them, I want to actually show you the uh, websites because, of course, some of them need a little bit of explanation. So let's just get started with the first one, which is going to be FileCrop, and you will, you will find this website at FileCrop.com. This is very interesting because FileCrop is a search engine for shared files. So basically you can just enter the name of any file uh, that you possibly might be looking for on the search engine and you will find uh, someone somewhere that is actually sharing this file. Now, I have to warn you, uh, I am not sure how uh, legal actually these files are shared, so make sure to use these um, uh, handy bookmark with precaution and obviously, I mean, you are the all, you're going to be the one which is deciding uh, if it is actually uh, good or not good to actually download this file. However, I thought that it would be a good idea for you to know about this website, which I think it's very, very interesting. Now, let's go to the next website, and this website is going to be quickonlinetips.com. Quick Online Tips I really like, and I actually visit it quite regularly. I actually I am on their um, uh, mailing list. It is great. It is full of tutorials. It is full of information about Facebook, Twitter, uh, computers, uh, WordPress, blogging, all sorts of amazing information uh, that you can find there, full of tips, full of great uh, resources. And uh, I tend to uh, come to this website regularly if, you, of course, you want to increase your Internet intelligence. So I think that's a very, very uh, good website to visit. Now, the next um, uh, websites that I'm going to be telling you about, I have to, first of all, uh, tell you how this is used. So this is very, very important. So right now we are in the AmazingWebsites.tv uh, site where you're possibly watching this episode. And uh, basically the way that this works is we are right now, this is the um, URL from this specific uh, episode. So I'm going to cut and uh, then I'm going to go to this website, which is called Pingler.com, which is absolutely great. We're going to put it into here, into uh, I mean the URL. We're gonna put it there, and we're gonna uh, type the keyword. So um, the keyword is YouTube marketing strategies. So uh, YouTube marketing strategies, and then we're gonna say it's gonna be on business, and um, we're gonna say that it's going to be also in. Uh, internet and online so and also in marketing so those are going to be the categories in which we're going to actually be uh, uploading this we're going to fill up the catcher so which is l j six c four g and then we're going to press the button that says ping and uh, guess what the um uh Right now, it's just initializing the pings. It's basically letting a lot of different search engines and a lot of different uh, blogs and uh, all sorts of uh, other places on the Internet that you have now a new post 
on your blog, which is very, very useful. This is another tool that I really like. Now we're going to go to the next page. You can see how it is actually done. We're going to go to the next tool that I really enjoy. It's called indexkings.com. We're going to also put the uh, URL of uh, the same post that we're going to be having. We're going to say, yes, please uh, access the complex URLs. And then what is very interesting is that we will see that it's going to actually, we're going to click here where it says a rapid index and is going to start submitting our link to a number of different websites uh, so that they will be actually indexed. Uh, so that is, that is very, very, very good. I have been using this tool and it really works out very, very well. So I'm sure that you're going to find that very, very interesting. And um, very last thing that we're going to be, uh, uh, that I'm going to be showing you this time is we're going to go to a website called Pink Farm. And uh, here on Pink Farm, you can also find a, uh, um, uh, you can also do some pinging there. But this, the, the tool that I like is this one that is called Link Check Pro. So basically, you will put a domain and then you will put the scan and it will actually find if uh, so, I mean, who who is actually linking to your website or if you're um, uh, I mean, if you're actually trying to find out how many links you have on your website, you will be able to find them using this tool. So uh, this is pretty much the end. I hope that you enjoyed these handy bookmarks. And now it's time that we go to the next section of the show. James Schramko here with some business tips. It might be time to check your merchant rate. However you're processing your money in your business, whether it's uh, offline with checks, with uh, credit card swiping machines, whether you have an online facility, go and have a look at the rate and ask your provider if that's the best rate. What else can they do? I've recently changed mine and also over time I've asked for PayPal to reduce their amount. I've uh, got a better rate from my bank and when you speak to your manager, Quite often they'll cut you a better deal, especially if you have a very, very low refund rate and if you're putting through high volume, you should be getting a better deal. Because over the long term, over hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, the small percentages add up to a big amount. As the saying is, small hinges swing big doors. So you can imagine over three or four years, several million dollars, uh, one or two percent is enough to buy a car. Okay, so if you have a local business and you have customers, consider putting on a small seminar and it could be just two people or three people or four people. I've run a workshop with me and another guy training two people and I think we charged like $2,000 per person. It was $4,000 for one day. The two people got amazing training and we learnt a lot about the process of delivering the content, about uh, helping that person get a result. They went on to have amazing success but it's the minimum viable workshop. So start small, scale big. When you pay for a course, when you join a mastermind, when you buy a product, you're not paying for the product to someone else. You are investing in yourself. So get the best value from it. Make sure you consume the information, apply the information. Otherwise, the only person who is getting rewarded is the person that sold it to you. Really, the reward should all go to you. Invest in yourself and get the knowledge and implement it and leverage your abilities and you will succeed faster than if you just pay the money. You don't get the result unless you do the work. Okay, here's what you should ask yourself all the time. Is what I'm doing right now the best use of my time? I'm James Schramko. I hope you've enjoyed these tips. If you're looking for the next level, uh, go and register at silvercircle.com and pre-register for my mastermind group where we talk about these things every week. This is the summary of some of the things we discuss each week. I look forward to catching up with you next week. Welcome to Triple Your Internet Intelligence. Today I want to talk about how to deactivate your Facebook account. And you're going to be saying, well, why on earth would I like to deactivate my Facebook account? Well, this is exactly the same question that I asked myself. However, it seems that a lot of people are actually deactivating their Facebook account for a number of things. I mean, possibly uh, they are looking for a job and uh, they don't want anybody to see uh, whatever they're up to. Uh, possibly they are, you know, I mean, hiding away from an ex-boyfriend. Uh, uh, possibly they uh, got sick and tired on Facebook and they want to get rid of it. I mean, the possibilities are endless on why people would like to deactivate their Facebook account. I mean, that is uh, not something that I'm going to be building on. 
However, I just want to tell you that I found out that if, uh, I mean, they will, you, you will be able to deactivate your Facebook account and Facebook will give you 14 days uh, to actually really decide if you want to uh, deactivate your account or not. If you, for example, click a like or uh, post anything on Facebook or, or like anything or comment on any Facebook page, then it will not be uh, permanently, permanently deleted. Your account will be only deleted temporarily. So that's also something good for you to know, uh, just in case that you would like to possibly hide yourself on uh, Facebook itself or whatever. But anyway, that's one side of the coin. Now, let me tell you the other side of the coin, which I think is also very, very in interesting and important. Now, this is my Facebook page. And uh, as you can see, I have 5,163 friends, uh, while only Facebook allows you to have only 5,000. Right now, uh, suddenly from one day to the other, I had 4,600 friends, and then suddenly I went to about 5,300 friends. And uh, that, of course, was extremely annoying because I was not able anymore to add any more friends that I wanted or anything. And uh, then I started saying, well, how can I actually delete all uh, all these people? And then suddenly I started reading a little bit uh, more, and I uh, suddenly read that Facebook started counting also the people that have been on my uh, friend list that have deactivated their account. So let me tell you how you're going to get rid of all these people that have deactivated their account. That, of course, I mean, are just taking uh, space on your um, on your Facebook account and of course I mean it's something that might be very annoying for some of us and also they can also use it for spying because of course I mean you cannot see what they're doing but also they can see what you are doing so that's another reason for why you possibly want to uh, deact I mean get rid of them on your f uh, friends list so the first thing that you need to do is on your timeline what you have to do is you have to click on uh, your friends account and unfortunately I mean this takes forever because of course I mean imagine you have to list the picture and the name and everything for about 5,000 uh, people or how many people you have there so it's going to take a long long time so I, what I have done is I have already preloaded my page uh, another page of friends over here so that I will be able to do it on a faster way on this video and then what you're going to see is you're going to identify uh, the people which have deactivated their account because very likely they will have no picture. So what you're going to do is the following. Whenever you see a, a, a person that has just, you know, this profile, what you're going to do is you're going to click for you click on the person and it's it's going to come account is inactive. So if you click on the person, the account is inactive. Then what you're going to do is on click on on friend and uh, on friend the, that person. And then you says remove friends. Now, here is the big secret. And here is how you will be able to do it very, very quick. Because what happens is that if you uh, if you click here, the OK button, it's going to take you once again to the very top of the page. And if it takes you to the very top, top of the page, getting back to uh, where you were, it takes a long, long time. So make sure that you don't click the OK button. So we find over here once, uh, uh, also be, be very careful because for example, these are friends which might be uh, still active, but they don't have a picture. So just make sure that they are pictures that have been uh, deactivated. Um, see, for, for example, we can see this one. This one, it doesn't, it doesn't bring any profile. So we click here and has been inactivated. So we click there remove from friends and uh, we of course do not play and we do not click the ok button now the great thing is that of course by doing this you will be able to very easily delegate this task to someone else without being afraid that they're going to be deleting any of the friends that uh, you actually have in facebook well i hope that it has been useful and now it's time that we go to the next section of the uh, of the show which is going to be our feature presentation and now, our feature presentation. You're a webmaster. You know what you're up against. You get spammed, hacked, and crawled. You get popular, which is awesome, but can't handle the surge in traffic, which is not awesome. Your server goes offline, often at the worst possible time. Search engines punish you when your site loads slow. Then there's that uneasy feeling about some of your visitors. Are they friendly? Are they the embodiment of pure evil? How can you know? feeling alone? The big guys have their abuse teams and expensive solutions. They're covered. With Cloudflare, you can be covered too. Cloudflare is a community of webmasters just like you. Our goal, give you access to the resources previously reserved only for the biggest sites. Cloudflare protects your site by pooling the knowledge of hundreds of webmasters into a virtual fraud and abuse team.
Like a neighborhood watch, if a hacker or spammer is spotted on one site, Cloudflare instantly responds to thwart the attack. Cloudflare uses the size of its community to get access to the fastest internet routes and fattest pipes. Cloudflare speeds up your whole website by distributing its content across the web. This also means that Cloudflare can keep it online even if your server goes down. Cloudflare is easy to use and quick to set up. No hardware, no software. You keep your existing hosting provider and don't need to change your code. Any site with its own domain can be up and running in less than five minutes. The internet is great because of millions of webmasters just like you. It's time to band together. Join us. Once again, one of the very important uh, things that we have to learn on the internet is about social media. So that's why I'm really very happy to have on the show another social media expert. He's the uh, author of a book called Profitable Social Media, and his name is Warren Whitlock. And he's going to be sharing with us some really very cool information on how to use social media to improve our business and also how to be uh, have better exposure using social media. So, uh, Warren, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks. Glad to be here. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a beautiful day here. Absolutely. No, it's incredible. Uh, I would like to know, first of all, tell me a little bit about profitable social media because I think everybody's on social media, but the big question mark is how can I make it profitable? So you seem to have the answer. So. Okay, I would love to hear start, from you. We start with the premise that social media is not media, it's social. Uh, Very good point. Most media of the past has all been set up for the last hundred years to push in one direction. So whoever had the biggest tower could broadcast the most. The biggest number of network stations, the biggest printing press, if it was print, whatever. How many people can you reach and push out a message? Yeah. Well, that's got increasingly difficult to reach everybody, especially when the Internet reaches now billions of people. And instead of worrying about who you can sell to, when we go for who you can who will buy from you, it's a lot of people now. Yeah. Uh, you know, I always ask, uh, do you, do you uh, know anybody who likes to be sold? Nobody. Do you know anybody who enjoys buying things? Absolutely, everyone. Yeah. So why waste any time trying to sell? Exactly. Uh, social media now, and the internet in general, allows two-way communication. No. So, for instance, if it was truly two-way, and we are, we're talking here, it's not the two of us, it's you out there can talk to us, you know. Well, that technology isn't quite here, but it is in text, it is on blogs and comments, it is on Facebook, you post a picture and somebody can comment. When you start that conversation, you find out some people are interested in furthering the relationship. Yeah. And many aren't. But instead of saying, come by, come by, come by, you're saying like, uh, you got a question, I'll answer it. And yeah. you take that attitude, all of a sudden you find out, you know, it's, it's instead of going after the 1% you could push a message to, you're going after the 99% who are interested in the topic and not necessarily looking to be sold. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, exactly. Every, every single thing uh, that you're saying, it makes absolute sense. Now, there's one big question mark, and that big question mark is, how do you do that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you do, well, actually, the, the, listen, the, um, the marketing plan of the future for me is two words. Very simple. Well, I could say you have to buy the book, but I won't. Uh, two words, <laughs> just two words. I'm going to give you two words, and remember these will be way ahead. First word, listen. You got to listen and not just push your, out your message. When you're talking, you can't be listening. Second word, love. Treat people like you would a good friend. You know, if you really are listening, if you're paying attention to what people want, what they need, what they're begging for, it's not too hard to satisfy them. If it's yeah. customer service, you're going to retain customers because instead of them getting mad, they're like tweeting or posting on Facebook about their concern with your product, and you take care of them right there, and everybody reading knows that you're the kind of person that takes care of things. Yeah, fantastic. If you're selling things, you find people that have a problem, they say, I really wish I could blank. Yeah. And you say, well, yes, I'll help you do that. And here's the advanced technique. Instead of go looking for people that are looking to buy your product, you start looking for people with any problem. I'll give you an example. Suppose you go on uh, Twitter, which is the best for re real-time search, 
you go to search.twitter.com and you put in a search and you search for sushi space and Cincinnati you will find people who are talking about eating sushi in Cincinnati if you add one more thing to space and a question mark you will find people who are asking questions about sushi in Cincinnati when you answer that question people will know you're the kind of person that answers questions I love that example because I do not eat sushi I've never been to Cincinnati and on some programs I've talked about it without telling that part and I get people recommending places to eat sushi in Cincinnati in real time. Right now, if you do that search, there will be people talking yeah. about that. So it really doesn't matter what you do if you become a helpful person. And you, the longer you can put off saying, please, please buy from me, the better. Yeah. And we're in business. Of course, if mm -hmm. I'm on Twitter and I'm talking to you sooner or later, I'm going to mention I have a book for sale. It's called Profitable Social Media. Exactly. But I'm not going to go say, hi, glad to meet you. Buy my book. Yeah, exactly. Now, it makes a big difference. The longer I can put it off, the better. And, you know, and I never, I've never had to tell somebody you're putting it off too long. Fantastic. No, that's great. That's great. I would love to continue talking about this subject because I'm very passionate about social media. But uh, obviously, we have very, very short time on the show. So, uh, would you mind just telling us where uh, we can get in touch with you and uh, find out more about what you're doing? We, we made it really simple. We named the book the same as the website, Profitable Social Media. It's business results without playing games, but the website is ProfitableSocialMedia.com. And I'm on Twitter all of the time, at Warren Whitlock. And, of course, you can find me on Facebook and other places. If you search for Profitable Social Media or Warren Whitlock, you will see a few results on the Google. So Fantastic. That is contact, and I do hope if there's some question you have about this, you tweet me. I'm always open to having a conversation with anybody that tweets me. That is awesome. Thank you very much for being a uh, thing on the show. And uh, I am sure that people will definitely be uh, getting in touch with you. And make sure to get his book, uh, Profitable Social Media. And now it's time that we go to our next section of the show, which is uh, One Up A Day Keeps Boredom Away. Everyone has extra stuff they want to sell, but eBay and Craigslist are kind of a pain. What if there was a way to sell your stuff right from your phone in under a minute? No hassle, no crazy fee structure, just a tool that makes selling things easier. Introducing Sell Simple, an app that lets you sell anything in under a minute. To get started, open the app and snap a few pictures. Next, enter your details, like the item name, price, and whether you'll ship or want to do a local meetup. That's it. Your listing is now live on both web and mobile. To sell your item, share it through text, email, and your favorite social networks. Buyers who see your listing can instantly purchase your item with just a credit or debit card. Now all you have to do is ask yourself this. What do I want to sell today? Because selling things is only a minute away. All you have to do is sell simple. So this is pretty much the show for the day. I hope that you have really enjoyed it. Once again, this is Ernesto Verdugo and this is Amazing Websites Television, the show where intelligent people like you can find the tools to change the rules. Bye-bye.